lot of drill Money calling back to back so I keep taking trips Spend a couple mil, just on one crib Hold up, let me crack the seal, take another seal Whole lot of drill, whole lot of drill M16 Game Jester M16 back with another video, man What's up guys, you already read that title Got a story time for you guys today About pretty much how I got jacked Jude, finesse, however you want to uh, go about it. So back at the time I was in community college, I had just got um, a grant. So I had about, about $1,700 in uh, education money, you know what I'm saying? Also, this is a good example why you should always watch the people that you have around you because as the story goes on, you're gonna see who, who was my real friend, who wasn't my real friend, who helped me spend the money and not uh, actually in my best interest but like i said i, was, I worked a part-time job making about like what was it, eight eight twenty five at the time this is back like in 2015 2015 2016 eight twenty five as a center store associate i was a stalker so 1700 in my bank account i went crazy i mean it wasn't a whole lot but only time i seen that type of money was like during um tax returns wait so if you know if you live in tampa or you know anything about international mall tampa international mall that's where i first went to get i ordered some jordans <laughs> and we got some clothes that was the only place that the mall the champs decided that mall was the only one that offered that specific jordans all the all the other malls didn't have them in stock so went in there got my jordans went and bought a shirt um cologne went and got my brother about him some stuff. You know, I'm just out here spending money like I just got it like that. Pacific Jordans I had ordered were the infrared sixes. I have them till this day. I still got them. Um, but anyways, I had end up buying some Jordans from my best friend's cousin, which were the Brad 11s. They look kind of sketchy at first, but you know, I looked at them. They look fine. They look fine after, you know, I did some investigating only bought about 150 if you know anything about bread 11s some things go about 500 a pop because you know they ogs you know it was my best friend's cousin so i didn't really want to put nothing past him but <sighs> just just wait just chill it's, it's coming up you know it's friday now um i just got paid for my part-time job and i still have my money i have about like a thousand left from my grant money so i decided you know, I got two new pair of Jordans. You know, I got cologne, got some clothes to go with them. We're gonna go out. I was gonna treat my homeboy, my best friend, of course. And yeah, we're gonna go back like that. So it's about 10 o'clock before I pull up at my homeboy's house. He brings his um, cousin along and he has his, and his cousin, has his girl with him. I never met her before, nothing like that. But what happened is he told her, my, my homeboy's cousin told her that I bought those bread 11s off of him. And she said she knew someone that would buy them for more than a half. She didn't know, of course, how much. I bought. Well, I didn't know she knew how much I bought them for, but I only bought them for 150. She said she knew somebody that buy them for like 400. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I can buy for like, I can sell them for 400. I can re I can get them back and still have money left over. I'm like, it's a go. Um, I left them two at the house because I don't trust nobody else being around my house. I took me and my homeboy, my best friend, of course, to the house to get my shoes came back picked them up and we went to instead of going to the movies first like i wanted to go first i went to we went to uh top golf to play pool so the plan was dude was supposed to meet me at top golf and i was gonna give him the shoes and that was in the trunk and you know it's going on stage there but i had brought some cash on me too you know this way i didn't have to use my car i had brought about like 500 in cash you know it's a friday night it's about like 10 30 it's, it's late, so you know it was packed in Top Golf. So you know ordering food, playing pool, cause that's free. Um, then the girl decides she wants to play pool. So what happened was me and my best friend took uh, took teams, and her and his cousin took teams too. We blow them up to like two, three games. Then things take a turn for the worse when you know they want to start playing for money. Like I told you, I already had five hundred dollars cash on me. So I didn't really see a problem with playing until like it started getting intense and 
big bills start getting involved, like $100, $200 start getting involved. I'm trying to figure out how she was leading the team. They were trash at first, but when we started playing for money, they just turned into pros. Listen, I don't usually gamble like that. I just, you know, I didn't care that much. You know, it's just, we was winning <laughs> at first, but I thought it was easy money, especially when they putting their money down. But when they start winning, I start withdrawing until another dude from across the room was like, he'll put down more money and he got his little crew and he'll play us. I'm like, okay, we're about to win some more money. They already good. They turned to the pros. As soon as money started getting involved, we better win some money and split it up. We come up with his posse. He threw it on about three, four hundred. I only had three hundred left. I just told y'all I just spent two hundred on this game and lost two hundred. Me and my best friend just lost two hundred. Um. So what happened was the cousin and the girl end up putting money in. We end up putting in four hundred. Got blowed up. <laughs> It ended up getting so bad to the point where I tried to take more money at the ATM, but after a certain amount of time taking money at the ATM, you, you know, you see your limit for the day. So I ended up putting my bread 11s up for um bargain because people peer pressure and we can't back out the game. I'm like, I ain't, I can't get no money. I'm not going to go all the way to ATM. We buy Brandon in my bank in uh, downtown Tampa. It wasn't right because I, I realize it now. Now that I'm older, I something wasn't right because dude lost too easy. So we what happened was I ended up winning the money and the shoes. But it's like he the more I lost, the more money they kept trying to add on to the next winning. And it got to the point where we lost, I lost my shoes, and I lost my money. And the weird thing was they, the cousin and the girl and the dude that was playing us knew each other. They started dapping up to him some good game, good game. I was like, you know him? He's like, yeah, that's someone so that wanted to um, buy the breads off you um, for 400. I, I went and turned to my best friend. Listen, I kept calling for a second. I turned to my best friend. He looked at me like he didn't know. At the time, I wasn't really trying to hear that. I ended up leaving all three of them at the uh, top golf because I felt like like my, I just felt like all my, I felt powerless. Like I just lost everything besides the infrared of my feet, which dude tried to buy off of me, but I felt set up. A best friend was calling me after, you know, he realized I left him without even saying nothing. Um, tried to explain himself. You know, he said he just got caught up in that situation. I was like, bro, that, I, I don't know what to tell you. You brought them around me. Um, you know how they were like, even though we were all in it together, <laughs> but he just told me something. I, I had to put a gun to your head and make you um, put up money and this and that. So, like I said, gotta watch people that's around you. They plotting. They know that you got some money. They trying to get to it too, especially even if he didn't have nothing to do with it. The ones, you know, the ones he had brought around probably was on a whole different agenda. On the bright side, the Jordan's bread 11s turned out to be fake. Um, I was happy about that. Still lost some money. That's about 500. But I still have about 500 left from my grant. I didn't really touch that after too much. I didn't even go to the movies that night. I went straight to the house. But I um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and notifications down below. Check you guys in the next video, man. No, I can't calm down. Bitch, I'm too turned up. Judge don't give me life. Fawn don't merge dust. Sitting at a red light. Pouring this perp up. See the LVs on my bosses. While I'm left my shirt.